Okay, so the lighting was god awful during my intro, so I ended up just using the close up of my eyes. It's a really, really simple look, only using three eyeshadows, so I will show you the rest of my face. Here you go. I already primed my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm going to start in with the color texture. This is by MAC, and I'm going to just use this to define my crease, because I don't want anything too, um, too crazy in the crease, because I want to try to keep this look really simple and easy and quick for the 4th of July. So I'm taking this color, and then I'm going to blend it out with a color called Bamboo by MAC with a MAC 224 blending brush. I can't think of it right now. And by the way, I don't have any face makeup on right now. And now I'm taking NYX's Jumbo Pencil and Milk, and I'm using this also as a base because I'm going to be putting a white eyeshadow on, so I want that white to be as vibrant as possible. So I'm placing this all over my lid, and I'm going to blend it out with my finger. The reason why I blend it out with my finger is NYX Jumbo Pencil really isn't that good of a base as far as crease-wise go. So if you don't blend it out with your finger, um, it will crease up on you, which is no bueno. So now I'm taking the color Gesso by MAC, and I'm going to place this all over the lid with a I think a 249 brush I literally just picked up whatever brush I could use to pack on the color and gesso is a little bit of a harder color to work with it's a little chalky um, it is a matte color so it's a little chalky so I feel like I kind of have to like dig a little into the shadow to get it to come out on my lid if you know what I'm saying I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense at all, but that's pretty standard for me. And now I'm taking Inglot Gel Liner, and I love this. Love it, love it, love, love it, in number 87. And I'm going to place this in my bottom waterline. And um, I know it's not a traditional blue for red, white, and blue for 4th of July, but, you know, I'm not traditional anyway, so why would I do anything that's traditional? Anyway, so I'm also going to put this a little bit on the inner corner of my upper lash line just to kind of transition into that black gel liner that I'm going to eventually put on there. I just thought it looked cool and I wanted to do something a little different, so I did it. Okay, now I'm taking... Max Filament eyeshadow. I think that's what it is. It's one of those shimmery, shimmery, shimmery MAC eyeshadows. And I'm out of camera. I'm putting this underneath my waterline just because I wanted to give it just a little bit of shimmer because you know it's 4th of July. You've got to have a little sparkle somewhere. Okay, so I obviously winged out my liner with Maybelline's Gel Eye Studio. Uh, gel, eye studio, I don't know. I still don't have any face makeup on, so yeah, that's my skin. Whoa, crazy, crazy. Anyway, and I'm also wearing Ardell Double Ups in number 203. And they're kind of cray-cray. Anyway, on to the face. So now I do have my foundation on. What a difference it makes. And I'm bronzing my face just a little bit. I'm losing my tan, so eventually I'm not going to be doing this anymore. But I'm using Sun Dipped Pro Longwear Bronzer by MAC, and this was limited edition in the Hey Sailor collection. And now I am taking Bobbi Brown Corrector, and uh, Corrector basically takes... Oh, I don't really know. I mean, I do know the difference between a corrector and a concealer, but it's too hard to explain. Whatever. I just really like this consistency and how it brightens up under my eyes after I have all my other stuff on. So, 
that's what I did. Now I'm taking NARS Casino Bronzer and contouring my chubby cheeks per normal. And I'm starting to look a little greasy right now because it is ridiculously hot in my apartment. No matter how hot, high up I have the air conditioning, it still feels like it's not enough. Anyway, I'm taking um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in um, Tipsy, I believe. Yeah. And I'm putting this on my cheeks. And this lighting is awful. Like, I can't get the lighting right. So, sorry. Now I'm taking MAC Mineralized Skin and Skit. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Max Mineralized Skin Finish and Light Skipade. I'm using this as a highlight. Um, also under my brow bones. A little bit of shimmer shimmer. A little extra, you know. So, yeah. That's it for face makeup. On to the red lip. So I'm using Cherry Lip Liner by MAC, and I'm going to line my lips um, as best as I can. I suck at lining lips for whatever reason. My own, that is. And God, I look so sweaty. Ew! So sorry, guys. Whatever. It happens, right? Happens to the best of us? I think so. And then I'm taking um, Max Lady Danger Lipstick. And this is a serious color. Like, it is bomb. And I don't normally do red lips, but if I do, I like this one a lot. So, I think it, it looks really nice against the white and the blue. And, you know, it's 4th of July, baby. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope that everyone has a really fun and safe 4th of July. And just remember, you're a firework!